DPS officials want to make sure Oklahomans have all of the proper documents before heading in to get their real ID. That way they can avoid turning back around and go get them and the long wait times. Yeah, we expect long lines, especially at tag agencies. Jeff Hankins is the director of driver's license services at DPS. He says you still have some time before they start issuing real IDs this summer. In the meantime, he says to get those documents together. They have to have their birth certificate or a U.S. passport. They have to have a social security card and two proofs of residence address that has their name and the address on it. Hankins also tells me anyone who has changed their name because of a marriage or divorce will have a few extra steps to becoming real ID compliant. For a, a female that's been married or divorced, we have to know from the, their birth certificate through the marriage, divorce, marriage, they need to bring every document in that shows how their name changed. He says Oklahomans can expect some changes at DPS offices and tag agencies that are issuing real IDs. Currently, they issue your license over the counter, but that'll change. You will be issued a temporary document. It's a temporary driver's license until you get the real one in the mail. The actual card will be mailed to the person seven to ten business days later. Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News.